That may. What up? First of all, how are you? I'm shit. I know. You want to give me a hug? It's okay. I know. It's stressful. It's very yeah. stressful. Um, I, I feel like the house is in a bad place right now. Yeah, it's in a really bad place. Yeah, a lot of things are being said. A lot of names are being thrown out there. A lot of... I feel like, without being in on every conversation, I feel like looking around, I feel like you're being pulled in, different, in many different directions and told many different things. That's what my gut tells me. Mm -hmm. And it looks like things just look messy out there. I'm hearing my name is saying other names, mm -hmm. which I'm not saying. And it worries me that people are believing lies, spreading lies, and it's, it's causing a lot of chaos in here. I can't even like decipher the bullshit at this point, to be honest, and I'm like so spent. It's very difficult. Like it's like. So for me to come in here and tell you that, you know what, believe everything I say, is just not realistic. Yeah. I'm not even here to do that. What I'm here to say is though, is that I know. Hey. hey. Hi. What's up? Just hey. chatting away. Nice. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. It. No, you're okay. I need this bad. Are you nervous? I don't, I know, because it's just been so long it of waiting. So Man, long. I, I, my hair's gonna fall out if I straighten it one more time. <laughs> Are your speeches ready? I know you're like, oh. No, I had speech. such a badass speech, but I'm so tired and non motivated now that I'm not even gonna do it anymore. You're gonna do it. You're gonna kill it, girl. You'll get the energy again. I hope I do, because it's absolutely gone. You were born for this. <laughs> <laughs> you know that. How are you guys doing okay? Yeah. It's just the house feels weird. Does it? All. Hey, it shouldn't. If you're not on the block, you should just be enjoying your week. Yeah. Like, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the problem. People think too much. You like, you know? Yeah, no. That, like, the people who are going up, yeah, feel weird. But, like, if you're in no trouble, that's how I you think get in trouble. Just, like, so much that was said yesterday. yesterday. There was so much that was said. And it's just, like, the spillover of today. House meeting? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no I, think, I actually think there's more even being said today. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it's not, it hasn't ended yesterday. Are you for real? Yeah. yeah. Well, everyone's been keeping me out of it. No one's been talking shit to me today. Yeah. Just the same, I've just been letting everyone know. I just want to sit in the backyard. <laughs> I would love the backyard to be open. I just want to pound some of your smear off ice. Why can't they give us a case, though? A There's case? There's so many of us. Mm -hmm. Like, a case would be, like, two each. I know. That's so true. That would be pretty dope. Yeah. I know. I might have to like, crack one open. Four? Like, I know. What are you going to do for? I need one for my bath tonight. Absolutely. <laughs> but it's like, I, if the backyard was open, like, frick. It's not, no, I feel like it's not going to be open because the POV, then to take it down, like, yeah. how, like, I feel like we're not going to have the backyard for at least another. Like, is the POV tomorrow? Yeah. I think so. Well, I, if it goes the same as it did last week. Well, apparently, and think, I'm, no. I'm hoping so because without the backyard, it, the house feels tense. Yeah. Does it? feel better when people can like work out and walk around. And yeah, workouts cool big for the guys. Mm -hmm. It's so true. True that, true that. I hear that. Well, you guys just don't worry, okay? Thanks, dude. Let's just get through this week. I'm gonna just tell everyone to keep my name out their mouth. <laughs> I would never say your name. I ain't dealing with those repercussions. Right, because right, yeah. when I find out, I can't even out... deal with the repercussions when I haven't said any fucking <laughs> names yet. Trust I know, me. poor Tara. Ugh. Like, call me. Give me. Seriously. I'm so bored. Like, I'm just waiting in my, sitting in my introduction room forever. I just sit in chairs. Yeah. That's all. I new, do. I'm like, I need a new environment. <sighs> okay, I'll let you, you guys be. So it's fine. Thanks, I'll go babe. to the next place. <laughs> Thank you. So. Yeah, back what I was going to say was, like, I mean, I'm not going to try to convince you and say, like, you know what, your name hasn't... I'm not here to try to convince you that everything I'm saying is true. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah. Because, like, that's just a waste of time because there's so many things you're being probably told. But what I will say is that, like, I don't want to tell you how to play your game, but, like, I feel like early on you were a little bit too honest in voicing your... Yeah, yeah. Take your, take your time. 
I would say I think you're too honest about communicating how you felt about Jed in the sense that you were like, oh, maybe he should be on the block. And maybe like, there was like a series of things. I told Jed flat out, and I said it as a pawn. And even I don't know how that would get twisted. You know what, Tara, the thing is, whenever people's name get called up and associated with the block, yeah. it's just never, they never feel good about it. Okay, well, you that's know, his reaction to it. He's allowed to have that. That wasn't my intention with it. He's allowed to have whatever fucking reaction he wants. And I know that. And I don't need Jed to like me. I don't need him to like me. I wasn't saying his name in that context. If he wants to feel a certain way about it, that's on him. What I don't feel good about is the example that I'm setting for my fucking kids where somebody is just blatantly talking shit about me, making lies about me, because he misconstrued what the fuck I said. And if people think that I'm just this little fucking chick that sits around and normally puts up with this, because in real life, I don't. What I say is what I mean. If I wanted Jed to be a target, I would have approached Austin and said, hey, Austin, maybe you make a big fucking move and we get Jed out. So if he wants to misconstrue what I said to what he thinks and now spread lies about me and not look at me and treat me like fucking garbage, then that's on him. See, but... That's on him. Yeah, that's just, his game. That's not my game. And I just want to ensure that I think... That's I not my game. No, 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 no. And I'm not trying to say that. What I want to make sure is, is that what you may be hearing has been, that has been said about you may not be true. Um, I, think, I don't go by words. I go by actions. And Jed's actions speak fucking volumes. I know that Jed does not see me as an ally in this game, and that's fine. He doesn't have to. The funny thing is, though, that Jed's name has actually never come out of my mouth in a bad fucking way. So he just made a target for me very easy because I didn't have one. His act, I don't, like, people can say whatever with their words. Jed's name never came out of my mouth, and the best thing with that flippy fucking dirty nasty flop I went up to Jed and I said, Jed, this smells like shit. And you are in a position where you would be a big fucking threat and people can pin this on you. And I told him to back off it. So if I was coming after Jed, why would I give him that warning? I flat out said to him, I am a target because I'm fucking old. I'm a mom and I am on the out. You are a big target because you are six feet. You are sculpted out of marble and people are waiting to take a shot at you. That fucking flop with sketch, I told him to get out of it. So if I'm coming after Jed, why would I do that? And no one's saying you're doing that now. What I'm here trying to say is that... It doesn't matter, Ty, it's fine. Like, I appreciate you trying to smooth things over, like... I, I'm just trying to see where your head's at and what you're hearing is even being said about you. I, I've heard even... so much that I'm just over it. Because... I'm over it, I look like a fucking bitch in front of my kids. I'm not the type of person that just lets people like bully me or make me feel like garbage, especially when it's not true. So yeah, maybe in this game was being honest a bad thing? Sure, guess what? I know, Jed, I can't be honest with you. I know that you're not gonna say, you're not gonna take my words for face value because maybe that's how you perceive things, Jed, if we're speaking about him. Because maybe he's a fucking liar and maybe what he says cannot be trusted. Mm -hmm. I don't want us to go down that path. What I'm saying is, I just want think. I, I don't think you're a real target for him. And, and that's so and, funny, and he should have said it to me anyway because I talked to him after about it. I don't think you guys are real targets for each other. And I think it's it's almost disrupting the game from, like this This is like a distraction. An extra distraction doesn't need to be one. There are a lot of I've lies. I've isolated being... myself all day. I couldn't be more alone in this game if I tried. I've isolated myself all day. The only person that actually like really talks to me is Tina. I've literally sat in rooms by myself for almost two days now. So I don't know how much more oh, I need to, sorry. I don't know how much um, more I need to be to make sure that other people feel comfortable. I don't even come in my fucking room. Tara, what do you want? What do you, who do you want to work with? Huh? Do, you, do you know who you want to work with? Dude, I okay. don't know where anybody is right now. I don't know who can be, like there's so many lies. I know, I know that. I know, I'm, like right now, I just know who I feel like I don't want to work with. And I go from actions, not words. People are spitting a lot at me. I know. Actions speak louder than words. 
And I don't want you to think that I just tie you and Jet together. I'm not playing that game. And I honestly, like, I don't even really have a problem with Jed. Like, but I know that he's, like, I know the type of person that I assume that he would want to work with for whatever reason. We don't drive. It's fine. It's a game. It's it not, doesn't matter. I don't think it's that you don't drive. I just think there was a, there was a communication breakdown in, in what was happening between you guys. I think that's all it is. And I think it could be smoothed out if you were open to it and if he was open to it. You understand? Yeah. And well, I'm Maybe, wondering. like, on, like, another day because I just feel like... But it's like, to, I'm not saying Jed is coming at you. I'm not saying Jed is talking shit about yeah. you. That may not even be true. Yeah. But it has been made aware to people that you guys had a conversation about you saying, putting his, it, you said it in front of the house. Right? I said it to him. And, I said and, it to him before. And it was, I said, okay, so what am I supposed to do when somebody who looks like fucking Jed grabs a fucking chair, demands that everybody comes and sits on the couch and looks at everybody and says, who said my name? I'm, I'm not disagreeing. What am I supposed to say when he knows I told him point blank in this room, you were here. He was on the bed. I was like, yeah, I said you'd make a great pawn. What am I not supposed to say it no, when no. I have somebody who said my name? Let me get a chair. Should I go get a chair? Should I go get a chair and get everybody together on the couch and call a house meeting every time somebody says my fucking name? No. So here, here's the point I'm trying to make on that. The house saw that that happened, right? And I think that the tension between you and Jed has been blown out of proportion by others because you understand that this, this house is a game of broken telephone, yeah. right? So if someone hears that Jed may be concerned that you may be targeting him, if you felt that way and that was expressed, that can be misconstrued into a different message that eventually came to you and didn't even come directly from him. Because the reality is, has Jed come to you and said any of the things you probably think you, like the probably things you've heard today? No, Jed no. doesn't look at me. Jed doesn't look at me. Jed called me a 13-year-old fucking boy. When? To your face? Um, as I was walking, while they were playing pool, I was walking by with fucking Tina, and he's like, she looks like she's fucking 13 from behind. And I got to bite my tongue on that shit, too. And you have no idea, as a 37-year-old fucking woman with two fucking kids, and somebody, because what, because I'm short? What is the difference if I was big and fucking fat and I walk by and he says she looks like a fucking whale? As I can hear. So don't say that this is because I said use Jed as a pawn. I didn't say it was because of that. I'm saying things can get blown and out I, of And you know what? I swallowed that and I didn't even say anything about it. I didn't even say anything about it. The only people who even knew about it were the people who heard about it. And it was humiliating. It was fucking Humiliate. I can't even. So to hear that he's upset that I said to use him as a pawn or whatever the fuck it is, I honestly, Ty, I don't give a shit, and I don't give a shit. But that's not that's not what I'm trying to communicate to you. I'm just I want to know. I just want to know like, where's your head at right now? Like I, I like I no I like my, where my head is right now. No, I don't I don't I don't want to work with Jed. I don't think that Jed even likes me as a person. I don't get his vibes. I, like, I'm sorry. I just, it's, it's too much. It's too much and this is like, I'm not the type of person that just doesn't say anything. I get that. And like, I understand this is not real life. This is a game. Being this your, is a game. Being yourself should not be held against you. I'm not here to hold it against you yeah. at all. It's a game, though. It doesn't matter. I don't care what Jed thinks about me. I don't care if Jed thinks that my body looks like a 13-year-old. But you have to understand how this perception can fuck with people. And then when you're isolated, and then when you have everybody in the house saying that this person is possibly saying your name, you see that he will not fucking look at you. He will not talk to you. He does not say hi to you. I don't know how else I am supposed to perceive it. I'm sorry, but I don't want to work with that. And that's fine. And I'm not, I'm not saying you that's, have to. Yeah. I'm just saying. He I, clearly doesn't want. And I felt with that vote and that flop that I was expendable. I knew that it was shady. I knew that I would be set up to take the fall for that. And I'm not going to be a bitch. Why am I going to vote for somebody that I know that he, I'm pretty sure he doesn't even like me. So why am I going to. And I, I'm still getting heat for it. I'm still getting heat for it when I said, no, I really don't want to do anything with this. It's getting messy. People are tossing. Oh, no, I'm, I know about it, but my vote's going to be here and here. Like, I just, like, am I that dumb? 
Like, do people think I'm that fucking dumb? If you don't think that's shady, because Josh actually had a pretty decent pitch. Josh leaving the house probably wasn't bad for my game. You think Josh is gonna say my name? I was one of the only people that was even nice to Josh. I was one of the only people that talked to Josh. Josh staying was actually probably really fucking good for my game. But I wasn't having Josh stay so that I could take a fall for somebody else. And that is why I backed out of it. Why did you feel that way? Huh? Why did you feel you would take a fall? Because people are hiding votes and it's all super sketch. Nobody's talking to me. The original pitch that came from Josh and the people it was supposed to be, and then it travels here and it travels there, and now more people are into it, and these two people are gonna vote this way, but you have to vote this way, and we have to make the numbers look this way, because these people don't want heat on that people. Like, it was just like, why would I do that? No, I get it. Why would I do that? I get that. Even if it was a good idea. Yeah, it was ugly. The whole even concept, it was messy. I get that. And then there's like, rumors here, rumors there, rumors here, like, and I'm sorry, like, I don't mean to, like, yell at you, but I'm just... No, you're allowed to vent. Just like, I'm just, feel. like, I'm stoked for Vic. I'm happy she won. I think it's a little bit of a reset. I'm not the type of person to hold a grudge, but right now, I'm fucking aggro. Right now, today, in this moment, I'm not a happy person. And I have been literally isolating myself all day. Like, all day. I know. And I saw that. And that's why I want to come talk to you. So, A, I want to make sure you're okay. B, I'm fine. I, I do, like, I get that it's a game. But it's like, it's fine. It's not, this is not real life. How do you feel about me? Honestly, Ty, I wanted to work with you so fucking bad. I'm not saying that I don't want to work with you. I'm not, like, I don't tie you as, like, as if you guys are fucking limbs on each other. Yeah. Like, I appreciate who you are as a person. You were somebody, when I walked into the house, that I wanted to work with very, like, a lot. I felt like I had trust in you. My only, like, like, the only thing, like, kind of like, whole, like, I feel like you're really tight with everyone. And that's great for your game, so I don't know where I would fit in that sense. Like, everybody loves Ty. Everybody wants Ty to be their guy. Um, but I honestly, like, I don't have any bad feelings for you. I don't know where I would fit in your mix. I feel like you're great with everybody. Here's the thing, Tara. In this game, it's impossible to be good. It's impossible to be good with everyone. Yeah. It just is. And like, whatever you see out there at face value is not even really real. These yeah. same people that appear that I'm tight with are the same people talking shit behind my back too. Yeah. Right. And I'm hearing things are being said about me. All like, I'm being I'm put on a hit list. Yeah. I'm a target too, just as you think you are. I want to hit list as well. Yeah. And I need, it's starting to come down to who can I trust? Who can I work with as well? Yeah. Because all that, everybody loves each other. That's no. done. And I can be cordial and I can talk to people. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. okay with that. But the reality is I need people I can work with. Yeah. But, so that's another reason why I'm here. I just want to know where your head's at. I'm not going to ask you. Do you want to work with me right now or today? Because that's not what I'm here to do. I, I don't get know, bad are, vibes for you. you. I wouldn't, I'm, I'm not even saying that I would never work with Jed. I'm just frustrated with Jed. I get that. That's all that it is. I'm having a day of frustration. And, you and will, it's been a lot. And you and Jed will have your time to have, yeah, to well, have yeah. a talk. I think he needs to mellow. I think I need to mellow. Mm -hmm. I know I'm not in the space to talk to him right now. And I, I feel that. I 100% feel that. Because I don't think that he's a bad guy. And even like the comment that he made to me, I don't think he meant it in a derogatory way. I don't think. But you know, like, I don't care what people say. I care how people make me feel. And that's the most, I, I get and it. And that means a lot to me, right? Like. You can't fake feelings. Yeah. That's how you feel. And you just, you know, in, you know deep down who's going to stab you in your back. You know, you always know. Oh, I feel like I have no idea. You don't? No. No, I feel, like I, I feel like everybody is telling me something completely different. And I knew, like, coming into this house that I would be on the outs. I, like, tried to mentally prepare for that, but, like, I was never really tight with anyone. I'm sure that you had alliances from day one. I haven't. So everything that people tell me could be a lie. Literally, everyone. So my question for you is this now. You know the target, right? At this moment, you're good. 
kind of, right? Oh, you I know don't. That. I don't know. I mean, I think I feel good with Vic. I would never be gunning for Vic. Yeah. She knows that. I love Vic as a person, but Vic has to do what's good for her game too. So I don't know. But you know, Vic's not coming for you. Right yeah, now. I don't think so. Yeah. Which is why, like. And I think she knows that because Vic is a very real person, and I am too. And like, she knows that I wouldn't. And I like, I'm not coming for Vic. Mm -hmm. Which is why, like. I think part of you should feel good about that. Yeah. Because there are other people who it looks like Vic is going after. Yeah. It's not you. But one thing I'll say is like, I, I just, I want to make sure we're good and I want to make sure that I've spoken to you. I appreciate you talking to me. I do for sure. Because I, I, I want to see if you're open to ever working together. It's, this is a long game. If you make it to the end, it's a long ass game. I know. I know. And honestly, I'm just, I'm so pissed at that stupid flip because it, I don't think it needed to create this much drama. It, it created drama because it wasn't, it wasn't executed properly. It was either the house wanted to do it or they didn't. And everybody seemed kind of, uh, and then ultimately the people responsible for a lot of that confusion and they end up on the block for it. Yeah. This week. It's the reality. Well, and like that's like the hard thing because I don't even know like why that was like steamrolled so much. What? That stupid flip. Do you why, know what I mean? Why should like what like like who was like leading that where like it had to happen? I think it'll come out Yeah. Of the wash, you'll see. But what I will say is there were And like straight up, I'm telling you, like Bible. When I had my conversation with Vic, I didn't even say anything about you and Jed. I didn't. I literally said, I don't know why this like spun out of control. I actually said that you guys were sketched out by it too. So then to feel like my name is then tossed out, potentially by you guys, is another reason why I'm pissed. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We, we never associated you with the flip. We, we, didn't, we, didn't, we, we didn't point the finger at you. Yeah. Vic knew, like, here's the thing. People knew who orchestrated the flip. I don't yeah. even think people would believe yeah. that you orchestrated the flip. Yeah. No, but even the fact you're like, I'm a low, that people yeah, yeah, would yeah. never believe that you yeah. would come and orchestrate a flip. It's not even believable. So for Jed and I to even say that, it's ridiculous. Yeah. I don't know, it's that's just... Really, that, that's really what it is. Yeah. Right? So it's like, we're not throwing your name out and saying Tara is responsible for their flip. That's, that's, that's not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not a thing. Right? Um, the flip is stupid anyway. What do you I mean? I don't know what the fuck we're fighting over, like, the somebody idea. who can't be trusted anyway. The idea of it? What? The idea of the flip? No, you always have to... He had a good pitch. He had points. If we stayed in teams, there were points that made sense to keep somebody like Josh around if we stayed in teams. His pitch wasn't terrible. No, it wasn't. It's big brother. You have to entertain mm -hmm. every side. Mm -hmm. You have to look at it. Mm -hmm. And reality is there are people's games that Josh staying would have been better for, assuming yeah. that there was teams still. Yeah. So that's why the, the, the idea of the flip even went so far. Yeah. Did it benefit my game personally? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah. But the reality was there were people in my ear saying that this is what they wanted. Yeah. Did you not feel with that flip, though, that some people were just, like, being used as, like, pawns for that? I think what the flip was, I think people wanted to disguise where their allegiances lay. Mm -hmm. Right? And it wasn't going to be a full House voting one way situation. So people wanted to be able to vote in a way where it's disguised where they really voted. Yeah, so some people are safe, but not everybody. And some people would have taken a fall. Not necessarily taken a fall, but some people want to protect certain relationships, mm -hmm. I think. And others that didn't have those relationships, it didn't really matter. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like if one group was, if somebody wasn't tight with this group and they voted against, it would be whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, I think people want to protect their, some of their relationships. That's really all it was. Yeah. The problem with that, the whole thing was, 
nobody can, there was no consensus early enough on whether or not it was to be done. Yeah. And then once nobody knew what was happening, it created chaos. And then it yeah. was like, a, it was like almost like a half flip. People want to do it, people don't want to do it. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I can't figure it out. I'm like, so what's happening here? Mm -hmm. Like, what are you guys trying to do? Because I don't think this is a good idea, but let me know either way what's happening. Yeah. And in the end, no, there was no flip. But the flip flop, all that nonsense before it, got a lot of blood on a lot of people's hands, including mine. Yeah. And I didn't even want the thing to happen in the yeah. first place. Here's what I mean. And it was over Josh. Right? So it's like now I'm in the hot seat too over something I was like, nah. Yeah. And it sucks. But the reality is I just got to deal with that now. Yeah. And now going forward, it's like, I need to know who I can trust. Yeah. And it's like, I want to be able to trust certain people. And now I know I can't trust others. Yeah. Right? It looks like sides are forming in the house and people are drawing lines now. And I want to be able to work with you. Yeah. And I don't want to put you on the spot right now. That's not what I'm here to do. But I want, to, I want you to know yeah. that I'm open to working with you because you seem real. I, wa I wanted to work with you from the day I met you. You seem real, you seem genuine. It was a vibe from when I first hugged you. Like that was real. I felt your energy. And I know that, I don't think, I, I just don't believe you would throw my name under the bus. I just don't, and I can't, I can't Bible see you I, doing it. Bible I didn't. I can't even see you, I can't even visualize you doing it. So it's like. I don't know, it's like, I don't wanna like distract from like Vic's fucking week. You know, like, I'm happy that she won. I think it's, like, a good little kind of, like, reset. I agree. Because at and the I'm end of the like day... And I'm just, like, praying, like, that things just kind of, like... At the end of the day, it's a Mellow out a little bit, and then we can kind of, like, go from there. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Because the reality is, it's, like, Vic didn't put herself on a certain side. So whatever she's deciding to do this week is from her unlooking as somebody that seems impartial. Yeah. Somebody who's standing in the middle. Yeah. Which kind of, if you won HOH, you probably would have done the same thing. You would stand in the middle and be like, what am I seeing here? Yeah, yeah, Who yeah. needs to go home? Yeah, for sure. Right? And that's essentially what she's doing. So after the noms, after the POV, see what happens. Yeah. But I just want you to know I'm open to working with you, and I think you're someone I, I can I appreciate be able to you trust. talking to me, because it was starting to piss me off that you were. <laughs> I want to I wanna be able to talk to you. It's just, I, I just it, didn't know where your head was at. This just gets weird, man. I know. It's just like you feel like these like energies. I didn't, I didn't think that I would like feel like this like insecure in the house. I honestly like I didn't anticipate. I'm not. I'm like a super confident person. I know. <laughs> and so like <laughs> to like feel these like unwavering moments, like it's just like fuck. But I know. It's fine. Well, that's what this place does to us. It tests us. It no, it's it fucking crazy. I don't even know why I signed up for this shit. It makes us insane. I don't even know why I'm here. I don't even know where I am. From the first day, it was hard. For, like, day one, I was stressed. Yeah. Day one. And it's only getting worse. But... And it, yeah. I don't know. That stupid flip felt dirty. I think there's, like... There's obviously like always like room to like rebuild trust. I'm just, I will tell you straight up, like I'm action speak louder than words. Because mm -hmm. everybody has words in this mm -hmm. game. I Anybody know. can say whatever they want to say. Do you know what I mean? Like some people that I thought I was really cool with, some of their actions showed otherwise. Mm -hmm. So, and I'll like, I'll give you that same respect too, right? Like, is it time for the, Ceremony? No, you can come no, in. No, yeah, you're, I think good, we're you're done. good. Yeah, we're done. We're done. Tara. Yeah, all right, fine. You want to hug it out? Come here, you fucking jerk. Fucking jerk. Come here, I got you. You're too smooth. You're too cute. <laughs> Fuck you, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I love you. I appreciate I you talking to me. Fuck you. Mama fuck you. Tea. Yeah, fuck you. Chad. Oh, man. It's not, it hasn't been an hour. This is crazy. No, man. We're all going to have heart attacks. This is, the longest, <laughs> this is the longest thing I've ever waited for in my life. Am I going to be too warm wearing a goddamn sweater down there? Nah.